Over the last couple of years almost here now, we've done a Sharp Saturday video every Saturday where we take a look at something sharp. And we've looked at knives, we looked at saws, we looked at axes and hatchets and a few other things. Well, today's video, we're going to go way off the beaten path. We're not going to look at a knife, we're not going to look at a saw, we're not going to look at an axe. But we're going to look at something that's pointy anyway, so we'll call that sharp on the ends. But this is going to be fun, I think. I'm talking about, we're going to take a look at the cold steel torpedo. And we're going to see how well this torpedo does against the balance, orientation, and rotation device. What do you think? Who, who, which one do you think will win? We're going to find out coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me for another Sharp Saturday video. Um, we're going to call this a sharp point because it is pointy. But anyway, I, um, as I said, we're going to take a look at this cold steel torpedo. And um, I would be remiss if I didn't give a big shout out to the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited for making these Sharp Saturday videos possible by creating a situation where you can save money and support the channel at the same time. And you can do that by signing up for a 30-day, 99-cent membership at survivalonpurpose.com slash BDU. Just go there and it'll get you there. You got one more link you got to do because of YouTube's rules. But then if, if you think you'll save money, and I, I'm pretty sure you will on the stuff you normally buy anyway, and you stick around and you pay them either 10 bucks a month or 99 bucks a year for a regular membership, then they'll throw me a couple of bucks. It allows me to do stuff like buy this cold steel torpedo. By the way, I bought this one on Big Daddy Unlimited too uh, for like $21.99. Anyway, um, that's, that's survivalonpurpose.com slash BDU. So I really appreciate you checking them out. So anyway, as I said, I bought this for $21.99 on Big Daddy Unlimited, uh, which is, it was cheaper than I could find anywhere else. And I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I, I read the specs, but let's just talk about this real quickly, and then we'll get to doing some of that uh, torpedo stuff. But this is 15 inches long, two full pounds of cold rolled 1055 high carbon steel made in Taiwan. It's one inch thick in diameter here and especially heat treated to minimize the possibility of breakage. And this is basically designed to throw and stick at stuff. Now, who would want to do something like that, right? So anyway, uh, you can see the old balance orientation and rotation device is, is, is getting pretty worn out here. We're going to see how well it'll hold up to this two pounds of cold steel torpedo. So um, and man, these mosquitoes are crazy out here. It's been raining for a couple days here in Georgia at the end of August. And my goodness, uh, my, my nat all natural mosquito repellents are not working too well. So maybe I need to renew them. But anyway, uh, I digress. I'm going to take you back and we'll uh, start at a reasonable distance with this thing. It says that this thing can be thrown up to 45 feet. I don't know if I can throw it that far because it's two pounds, but we're going to go back and, and see how well this thing does at a normal throwing distance. I'm sorry, balance testing distance. <laughs> okay, so I am guessing somewhere in the neighborhood of 12 feet from the old balance orientation rotation device. I'm going to give this thing a shot. I'm trying to keep my face in the, in the shadow here so the sun does not blind me because, um, anyway, you want to do it? This is the very first diversion throw. Here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, I need to back up or get closer. Let me uh, get a little closer to the target. See if I can try a, a half flip. Maybe here. Okay, <laughs> that was a that was a half a flip. It went in about almost an inch and a half. Let me back, let me back you up a little bit, and then I'll um, see if I can get a little little better distance on it. Shall we try again? Maybe this will give us a full 360 degree spin which is how I normally throw. I know, I forgot the scientific process. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, maybe once more. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> it's always about the science. 
Okay, so what have we discovered so far? I think we discovered the importance of maintaining the scientific process. So now I'm gonna go back and see if we can just get crazy with it. So from about right here, I'm at, I had a full rotation. So I'm gonna make myself a little mark here, put some pine cones down here, and then try to be scientific about going back the same distance and see if we can get a double rotation. It works with tomahawks. Okay, we are somewhere around twice as far away now. Let's just see. Whoop, 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 whoop. Man, if that had stuck, I was gonna be so impressed with myself. <laughs> We're gonna call this one balanced. I'm not gonna push my luck anymore. Well, maybe, maybe I'll push it one more. Okay, I'm somewhere near 30, 35 feet. This could be my longest toe ever. So it could also entail, involve a whole heck of a lot of luck, I'll be honest with you, but let's just see. If I can throw this two pounds hunk of steel that far. You ready? Whoa. We try again. Minor calibration adjustment. Back up, okay, here we go, ready? It's gonna be the last try from this distance and he's gonna make it or not, because again, if, I, if it makes it, honestly, right now for me, it's 100% luck anyway. So I guess I could throw this thing until it sticks and then edit all the misses out and act like, act like I'm some kind of pro, but that would be cheating, wouldn't it? Let's try it for real. Oh, so close, so close. Okay, so as I said, this is gonna be a very different video. Um, I hope it was a sort of a fun video. It was fun for me. It would have been a lot more fun if I had gotten more sticks, but I did get three in a row uh, once I found the distance there and, and used the proper, uh, the proper scientific technique. But then moving backwards, I really wasn't able to get, um, get lucky is what it would have been. But, cause they say this thing is good for like, people are sticking this thing at 45 feet. Okay, I'm not, but I am. Um, I will say that my arm's hurting a little bit from chunking this sucker, trying to chunk it from 35 feet. It's two pounds, it's pretty heavy. But if you look, I mean, look at what it did to the, to the balance orientation rotation device. It's got some nice little holes in here. This thing's poked in about that far, so. Um, and so a lot of people ask me about th th throwing knives and blades, you know, how practical that is for hunting or, or self-defense or whatever. And you know, I don't know about that. I, I'm, I'm a believer that in don't bring a knife to a gunfight. But for hunting or self-defense, if you can get good with this for like a survival weapon, I know we're stretching here, but just stay with me for a minute. This could, this could, might could be pretty effective because you don't even have to stick something if you just hit it with this. Um, it's going a small animal. It'll, it'll probably kill it or stun it. And um, you know, anyway, <laughs> there's that. I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave all this, all the other uses to your imagination. But I will say. It's pretty stinking fun, fun, and I'm gonna practice with this some more, and if I get to where I can really throw it really good, I'll do a follow-up, because it's, it's, it's different than throwing a knife, but, it is, but it, is, it is balanced. And again, if you follow the proper scientific procedure, um, it's, even, it, it's even easier to demonstrate the balance. So anyway, I'll shut up. I uh, hope this has been somewhat interesting. Uh, thanks again to the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited for making it possible for you to save money and support the channel at the same time. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and every Saturday. And if YouTube's not notifying you about those videos, you can fix that by going to survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe. Get signed up for my weekly email newsletter. Every week I'll send you an email with links to the videos, links to old videos, uh, some other stuff hopefully you'll find interesting, maybe news offers or deals. And every now and then we'll do a giveaway just for newsletter subscribers. So. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.